Hey guys, welcome to free tutorial TV once again. Today in this video I will explain about print and input function definition. In this video we will see how to use print function in order to print output on the console in various different ways. And I'm also going to show you how to take user input using Python. And so we have already seen that in Python we can use this print function in order to print something and we have already printed during installation process. Which is Hello world at the time of installation. When I press enter it's going to print hello world on the console. Now some of you might wonder what is this print. So print is inbuilt function of Python. So Python has a number of inbuilt function. And print is one of them. So here print is our function. And then inside the parentheses is what you give here is called parameter and argument. Okay. So hello world is an argument which is a string argument. Right. So let's try to give in this print an integer argument. Let's say I just provide 25 here and it will print this number once again. Let's say I'm going to write print and then I want to execute some expression 50 multiplied by 60 and then press enter print function is also able to do this. Now let's say I want to output some more complex formatted string. So let's say I want to print on the console 50 multiplied by 10 is equal to 60. How can I do this? So let's see how we can do it. So I can write print here. And then inside these double quote you can write your string for example 50 multiplied by 10. And then in print function you can give multiple arguments using this comma and separator. So here I can just write 50 multiplied by 10 and let me put equal symbol here inside this string and then press enter. And now it brings 50 multiplied by 10 equals 500 and you can also provide more than one argument to this print function. So for example I can just write hello here. And then in the second argument I will just provide the space between hello and world and the third argument is world here and this print function will concatenate all these string values and give you the output in this format. Let's say you want to also provide this value here which is 50 and then instead of string you want to provide some value which you take from variables. So for example you declared a value year x is equal to 50 here and then y is equal to 10 and you want to use these two variables instead of this static string. So how you can achieve this you can achieve this in various different ways. So let me show you the first way so I can write print and then the double quote. This is the string. So whenever you use this double quote and whenever you write something in between the double quote it becomes a string. So after this string I will provide a dot here and wait for some seconds. And as soon as you do this you will be able to see really different hints here which are provided. So these are all the inbuilt method which you can use read the string so you can use find the method. You can use format method. So for now we are going to use this format method with strings so you can just click on this format method. So let's say I will provide x as the first argument y as the second argument and I want to see the output of x multiplied by y in the third argument. Now how you can print the value of x y and the multiplication of x y by using this lang string. So it turns out that you can use these curly brackets inside the string and you can give some index here. So index starts from 0. So this index is index 0 and then I'm going to provide that space and then this asterisk symbol to provide this kind of format. So if we want to achieve this format here, right. So just write to 0 in the curly bracket space I asterisk and once again curly bracket. And this time you're going to provide the index 1 and the result will be transferred to index 2. Why? Because here the index starts from 0 so x will be transferred to index 0. y will be transferred to the index 1 and the multiplication of x and y will be transferred to index 2 here. So let me press enter here and you can see it prints the string which we desire. Now once again I'm going to write this print function and once again I'm going to give this parenthesis. And you can see the hint here. 
so I want to use this as SCP keyword. Now inside the string so how can I use this? So I will just close this parenthesis and once again I want to print hello world so I will just write hello. And then I'm going to provide the comma and inside the double quotes I'm going to just read the world. Here and then in the last argument you can provide this keyword sep is equal to and inside the double quote you can provide some separator to separate the hello from world. So I want to just give this string to separate hello from world and now I'm going to press enter and you can see this string is separating the keyword hello from the world. Now in Python you can also use a C style string formatting to create a new formatted string. So let me show you how we can do it. So I'm going to declare a variable called name and I'm going to assign some value to it. For example max here and then press enter. And now I'm going to just write print function and in the parenthesis, I want to just greet this name so I can just write double quote hello here and then if you are familiar with C style string formatting then you may know this modulo s symbol which is used to print the strings. And then after this double quote you just need to provide once again this modulo symbol. And then you'll need to provide the variable name which you want to replace instead of this modulo s. So in our case we want to replace this model s by name of variable. And I'm going to press enter and you can see it prints. Hello Max. Now let's say I also have age of this person. So the age is let's say 22. And once again I'm going to use this print function and inside the parenthesis I want to say hello. To the name including the age so I can just write hello and then modulo s here and then I'm going to print the age of this person or I can just write I u modulo d which is used to print the integer values and then I'm going to just write years old and after the double quote I can just write modulo and this time I cannot simply provide this name argument like this I must provide the name in the form of tuple and tuple is a fixed size list and we are going to see in the future videos how to use tuple. But for now just remember that our tuple is a fixed size list. So inside these parentheses once again I can provide first of all the name. And then as a second value in the tuple I can provide that age variable and now I'm going to press enter. And now you can see prints. Hello Max. Are you 22 years old? So this is how also you can use these AC style string formatting in Python. I want to give you one more example of float here so I can just write for example this person marks. So I'm going to just read marks is equal to and let's say I want to provide these marks in the floating point so I can give this model f here. And then after this modulo I can just give marks so 92.5 and then press enter and you can see it print the marks. Now one more little thing which we can do here is we can limit the number of decimal values which we want to see after this point. So we can write the same print function and same argument. And in order to limit the number of digits after the decimal you just need to write modulo before f dot sum number for example. I wanted to see the output after the decimal values so once again I think there should be this point too. Should be before modulo f. I think and then press enter. And now it limits the number of digits after the decimal point. Now the last thing I want to show here is how you can allow the user to provide some input. So for example I will declare a variable called the value and then I can use equals and then I am going to use the inbuilt function which is called input. So input is also an inbuilt function which allows you to take user input. So here I can just write as the first argument and then I will provide the colon here and that's it. You just need to press enter here and now you can see this terminal is asking us the same question which we have written here. So let's say I just provide 50 here and then press enter then what's going to happen is this 50 is going to be assigned to this variable which is value. So now when you just use this value variable you can see this 50 is assigned to this value variable. You will also see that this 50 is a string and not a number. Right because it's and closed in a single quote. 
so how you can assign 50 to this value using the user input to what we can do here is once again 9. Going to use this value variable and what we can do here is we can type cast the output of input. So you can just write in. And then here inside the interface you can just write. And now when I press enter and provide 50 and then press enter and see the value. Now it's an integer. Right. So you can type the output of this input function which provides us that string and this int method is going to convert the string into an integer and then give us the result instead of this end. You can also use a float keyword here. So let me show you this example also so I'm going to just copy this and paste it here and instead of using the int. I'm going to just write a float here and then press enter and I'm going to provide this time 100 here and then press enter and then I'm going to just print the value of the value variable and now it prints the answer in floating point. So this is how you can use print function to print the output on the console in the input function to take the input from the user. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like the video and share the YouTube channel with your friend and family. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Have a nice day.